three, two, one. Do we really have to wear these? Well, we're a GNP, good manufacturing organization, and yes, we do have to wear them. But I'm bald. And we're not in our process building. We <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Welcome to New Trek, Hawaii. We are live and on the loose from Kona, and um, we are the makers of Bio Acid and Pure Hawaiian Spirulina. We, this is the first time we're doing this on Amazon Live. This is a test. This is only a test, but we're jumping in with uh, two feet. Uh, again, I'm Eddie O. This is Jerry. Jerry is our Chief Science Officer and Founder. Jerry, thanks for uh, joining us oh, here. Oh, I'm glad to. Yeah, Jerry. Uh, before we talk about uh, the products that uh, we produce here in Kona, give us a little bit of uh, history about uh, how this all began. Well, well, actually, Cyanotech Corporation is Nutrex's parent. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of Cyanotech. Okay. Cyanotech came here actually in 1984, and we came to this place at K Holy Point in the Natural Energy Lab because it's probably the best place in the world to grow microalgae. We get more sun than any other coastal location. We have very little rainfall, only 12 inches a year, so we can grow in uh, out large out uncovered ponds. Mm -hmm. um, we also have access to a very unique resource called deep, cold seawater pumped up from a depth of 2,000 feet, which we use as a source of trace minerals, natural trace minerals in our spirulina culture as well as a source of cooling for a patented process we call ocean chill drying that allows us to dry spirulina and preserve all the oxygen sensitive nutrients. All right, we're gonna talk about the uh, health benefits of uh, our bioast and Hawaiian astaxanthin and pure Hawaiian spirulina. Again, this is Nutrex Hawaii. Uh, Jerry is our chief science officer and founder. Uh, I'm Eddie O and we've got a special on our spirulina uh, details coming up. And um, if you have any questions, Feel free to share those uh, with us. Uh, Melissa's behind the camera and she'll shout out those questions hey or there. Uh, comments uh, that you might want to uh, share with us here on Amazon Live. Uh, Jerry, let's talk about the uh, the science part of uh, bioacid and pure Hawaiian spirulina and the benefits. Mm -hmm. Let's start with uh, pure Hawaiian spirulina. Yeah, well, well spirulina is a whole microalgae supplement. It's a whole microalgal cell of spirulina. Mm -hmm. And spirulina is very rich in protein, it's about 60% protein. It contains a high concentration of antioxidant uh, carotenoids like beta carotene and zeaxanthin. It also contains a unique pigment called phycocyanin. This is a blue pigment, and it's been shown that phycocyanin protects both the liver and kidney from toxins. In addition, spirulina contains immune stimulating compounds and antiviral compounds. So people that take spirulina, they have more energy and they just don't get sick. Nice. And uh, the bioastin, Hawaiian astaxanthin. Well, uh, Hawaiian astaxanthin, astaxanthin it, for, for the people watching that probably don't know a lot about astaxanthin, it's a carotenoid, and it's the most abundant carotenoid found in the marine environment. It's what colors salmon flesh, red, as well as lobster and, and shrimp shells. But as it turns out, astaxanthin is the most powerful natural antioxidant known. And a matter of fact, the algae that produces uh, uh, Hawaiian astaxanthin, hematococcus, uh, it does so after it forms a spore. And you can take this spore, dry it out, and it can remain dry, desiccated for literally decades, mm -hmm. and then spring to life when conditions are good for its growth. The reason it can do so is because astaxanthin is such a powerful antioxidant, it protects all life essential ingredients such as DNA, RNA, and enzymes. But besides being a very powerful antioxidant, natural antioxidant, it also has anti-inflammatory properties. Right. And it uh, it's has a unique molecular structure. It has both a polar region, which is water soluble, as well as um, a, a lipid fat soluble. So it can travel throughout the body and provide anti-inflammatory protection as well as antioxidant protection throughout the body. Melissa, we have a question? Okay, hey yeah, we got a question um, from Lucy F. How much spirulina or bioastin should I take? Oh, good question. Yeah, well, we recommend, in terms of spirulina, we recommend about three grams a day. This would be six uh, 500 milligram tablets or a, a sort of a rounded teaspoon right. in, in a smoothie or whatnot. All right, on that, uh, on that uh, note, uh, let's plug our 16 ounce bottle of Pure Hawaiian Spirulina Powder. It's about 150 servings. And again, like uh, Jerry said, uh, one teaspoon uh, per day. Now, how about the bioastin? Oh, bi bioastin. Uh, yeah, actually, I should point out that spirulina and bioastin are all uh, considered grass, generally regarded as safe okay. uh, by the FDA. Uh, under FDA laws, so they can really be used in any drink, food, or, or supplement. Um, so for bioastin, um, we have uh, four milligram doses that we offer 
uh, slot gels as well as 12 milligram doses. We recommend people take 12 milligram doses if they're trying to address a specific health condition, such as sore joints. Mm -hmm. They're going to go out in the sun. Actually, um, Hawaiian astaxanthin help protect the skin against UV radiation damage. So if you're going to be in the sun, also if you're going to do a lot of strenuous exercise, train, tra uh, train for an Ironman or a marathon, 12 milligrams definitely. If you're just trying to maintain on a maintenance diet, I would recommend anywhere between four and, and uh, eight milligrams per day. Uh, you mentioned uh, Iron Man coming up here on our live Amazon feed uh, here at Nutrex Hawaii. We'll be talking with uh, Dan Gampon, one of our ambassadors, as well as Stephanie. You talked about oh, uh, yes. UV protection. She'll be joining us as well as we head into uh, summer. And uh, the, the special on our 16 ounce powder, 3224. You save $7. Bye now. I like to tell people, Jerry, that I take uh, our pure Hawaiian spirulina as like my all-natural multivitamin, and I take the uh, bioastin as my supplement for uh, working out for my uh, joints. And oh yes, and and, yes. And being out in the Hawaiian Sun, it's uh, really good for my uh, uh, skin. Jerry, I wanted to back up a little bit. Now, 30 years ago, roughly 30 years ago, is when you kind of had your first pickaxe out here yeah, in the lava field. Yeah, literally, literally, we're in the middle of the lava field. Yeah, it right. was about 34 years ago. Okay, now let's talk about the size of the farm, where it's gone okay. from back then to today. Well, we started, when we first came here, we're in the middle of the lava field, no one was around us, and we started with five acres. Right. We expanded throughout the years. We now have 96 acres under production. That's awesome. Congratulations. And we have uh, 40 large spirulina ponds and about 30 large Hematococcus ponds producing natural Hawaiian astaxanthin. Now, I'm glad that you mentioned the ponds because there are people out there, I've met uh, some of our customers who think we're just this lab and a warehouse that's producing tablets and gel caps, but we are a farm. Well, we, we, we definitely are a farm. Yeah. We, we farm, we culture these microalgae uh, in, in the open, the, the exposing them to the intense Hawaiian sun. The other thing I wanted to mention, but in terms of locating here at uh, Keaholi Point, the mm -hmm. National Energy Lab, this is an absolutely pristine environment. There's no agricultural operations around us for miles, no industrial operations around us for miles. Right, uh, I think it'd be good, on that note, I think it'd be good to mention that you know our products go through many different quality testings, including testing for uh, pesticides. Oh, a absolutely, a actually every lot of, of uh, Hawaiian spirulina or, or bioacid Hawaiian astaxanthin goes through at least 15 different quality tests. Right. We, we certainly measure all the nutrient values in, in the products as well as um, check completely for micro, microbiological tests to make sure that we don't have any harmful bacteria, which right. we really never do. Right, right. Again, this is uh, Jerry Sosweski. He's the uh, founder of Nutrex Hawaii, makers of bioacid and pure Hawaiian spirulina. He's also our chief science officer. Uh, my name is Eddie O. Melissa's behind the camera. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them with us here at Amazon uh, Live. Uh, Jerry, thank you uh, for your time. Oh, before you go, I'd like to ask, do you think would it be possible to go check out the lab someday? Oh, a absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, matter of fact, we've just moved down to what we call our innovation center. Right. We have new laboratory facilities, and I very much invite you to come down and check out our lab. We have some very sophisticated equipment. And we'll go, we'll go out and check out the ponds as oh, well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Jerry, thanks, Bob. Hey, Eddie, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jerry, Chief Science Officer here at Nutrex Hawaii, makers of bioacid and pure white spirulina. Again, our special as we broadcast live here on Amazon is our 16 ounce powder. You save $7 and get it today for $32.24. Come on in, Stephanie. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Uh, Stephanie, tell everybody what you do here with Nutrex. Right? I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing with Nutrex. I've been here going on 10 plus years, so excited to be here. Uh, Stephanie, we're heading into uh, summer, and we are. our products offer some great benefits uh, you know, as they we head sure into do. summer. Okay. Yeah, as Jerry touched and mentioned, um, astaxanthin fights um, inflammation from the skin. Uh, from the sun in your skin so it's a very important uh, nutrient to add to your daily lifestyle right. if you're outside and you're active you're 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 leading a healthy lifestyle you're outside running walking swimming doing anything outdoors astaxanthin is a perfect supplement to take to make sure your skin stays healthy during the summer melissa we have another question another question for you are both products grown 100 percent in hawaii Absolutely. We 100% grow all of our products here at our farm in Kona in Hawaii. We never would ever ever use any other source. All right, very good. Now, we were talking about the benefits of uh, bioastin, Hawaiian astaxanthin mm -hmm. on our skin. Now, my sister who's watching, uh, Didi, there in Big Bear, California, 
she she's not as active as maybe you and I might be, but she gets out there and she walks Lila, her dog. But she told me that she basically takes bioastin as like a beauty supplement. Yeah, bioastin has, there's a lot of clinical trials that has uh, shown to support your skin um, with beauty. It helps to uh, support fine lines and wrinkles and increase moisture and elasticity. So there is some really good clim uh, human clinicals on t ingesting astaxanthin internally for, for skin, which supports all of our beauty. Now let's talk about bioastin and you. Uh, you're, a, you're equestrian? I'm an equestrian. Correct. Yeah, equestrian, yep. a, a polo player. I play polo. Correct. And, and it wasn't too long ago that uh, your leg got. I had a, I got an injury. I was kicked by my horse right. and uh, had reconstructive surgery. And astaxanthin was a huge part of my recovery. Right. Um, so if you're recovering from an injury or you're trying to treat a, cons a certain condition, like Jerry mentioned, um, astaxanthin is great to help with that recovery. And I attribute <laughs> a lot of my uh, success in my in my surgery and my recovery to um, to bioastin. Um, and then, you know, when you're healthy and when you're out there, um, the recovery benefits are, are just great. So right. the sports that you love to do, whether, even if you're not a, a super active and you're not very, um, and you're not doing anything majorly extreme, astaxanthin can support you in your sort of, you know, weekend warrior missions, if you're golfing or you're walking, gardening. biking, gardening, right. anything that you do outdoors, you can get that benefit um, to support you to get out there the next day. You're awesome. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. And she wasn't, uh, I mean, you're, thank you for joining us because she's yeah. like, what? I'm happy <laughs> to join Amazon anytime. Live. We'll do this again. Look forward to seeing everybody again soon. <laughs> right on. Thank All you, right. Stephanie. Aloha, thank you. everybody. It's Amazon Live. We're here at New Trek, Hawaii. I'm Eddie O. And again, New Trek, Hawaii, makers of bioacid and pure Hawaiian spirulina. I take bioacid for joint and tendon health and quick muscle recovery from exercise. And uh, spirulina is my all-natural uh, multivitamin. On that uh, exercise and muscle recovery and joint and tendon health tip, it is my pleasure to invite uh, our next guest. His name is Dan Gampon. He's one of our ambassadors. Dan, come on in. Dan is a, uh, a triathlete. Uh, he lives here in Kona. He also works outdoors. All the details on uh, that coming up. But first, Dan, I'd like to uh, have you share with our viewers here on Amazon Live um, some of your triathlon background. Well, first of all, aloha everyone, and thank you, Nutrix Hawaii and BioAstin and Hawaiian Spirulina for having me here. Thank you, Eddie O. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've done triathlons for almost six years, and um, since I was the age of 17, uh, we started as a small um, triathlon club at our local high school here at Kelake High School. Uh, we started off with our math teacher, our very own and also BioAstin Ambassador Kristen, Kristen Old. Right. Um, and uh, uh, so far, I've done uh, two Ironmans and multiple half Ironmans around the world. Uh, my two Ironmans were uh, the one and only Ironman World Championships here at home. Uh, we're actually just a couple hundred feet away from the <laughs> run course and the most You're beautiful right. part of the course, the Energy Lab. and. Um, and I've been racing around the world from New Zealand, uh, Western Australia, to South Africa, and uh, soon to uh, soon to be racing in Canada and France. Nice France for the Ironman 70.3 World Championship Triathlon. Yeah. Details on that coming up and what you're doing to prepare for that uh, race, Dan. <clears throat> but I wanted to back up a little bit to the Ironman World Championship Triathlon. You were one of the youngest finishers of that race, right? Uh, our, my friend Keone Smith and I, yeah, we yeah. were on uh, 2013. You were how old? 18 years old. Now, were you you were taking bioastin then? I was taking bioastin. You were taking bioastin like in high school. Actually, but before that, because uh, my mother Gloria, um, she actually introduced bioastin to me because she started taking bioastin probably when the uh, when it just came out. Yeah, when it just came out, <laughs> yeah. probably when uh, the doc uh, himself stick that pick in the ground yeah. in the fields. <laughs> but, um, I say she was probably one of the first to take bioacids, um, and then she introduced me to bioacid when I was just, uh, just, I think, 12, 11 years old. You were paddling. And um, I was a paddler. Right. I, that was my first sport because uh, I wanted to get into the local sports here. Right, 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 but, right. So, uh, mother knows best. Got so a happy Mother's Day. Got a, mother got a mother's question Day. here. We have um, somebody asking, "What are the benefits of bioastin?" I've just started running recently. Can it help me? 
Okay, well, I'd like to get, Dan, you want to share how BioWasin helps you, and then I can share my own little testimony. How does sure, yeah, uh, BioWasin supports uh, my recovery after rigorous trainings. I, I train for triathlon 12 to 15 hours a week, uh, sometimes even 18 hours a week, um, and it helps uh, uh, support my um, inflammation after workouts and the stress after even work. Uh, I work um, two jobs, and to in order to help my with my inflammation and stress, um, I take biowasin. It also helps. Uh, I'm also in outdoors a lot, and the sun is just beaming on me um, five days a week. Uh, oh, actually, seven days a week because of training on the long weekends, uh, Saturday for a long bike ride, and then a Sunday for a long run. So I take biowasin to help um, support my skin from the extreme heat and the sun here in Kona. I started uh, taking bioacid probably like 10 years ago when my left ankle, I broke it twice in college and it became uh, yeah. became arthritic. Mm -hmm. And so a friend of mine introduced me to the bioacid and I was able, I was able to um, get out there and uh, be more uh, active. But another benefit that I, that I get from bioacid, and I really noticed the benefit of this when I did the Gila to, Mar uh, Gila to Volcano Ultra Marathon, yeah was I, I knew I was going to be hurting after that race, but it was just like a day or two after that I was back out and running. So the muscle recovery is uh, awesome. Another question, Melissa. Um, oh, just a, just another comment that you've got some inspiring stories and that, um, do you have any other tips for recovery? Uh, any other tips for oh, recovery? Oh, any other tips for recovery. I would, throw, I, would, I would totally throw in spirulina in there also because it also works as a multivitamin and a really strong immune support. Um, as a triathlete and a traveler, um, you tend to put your body through a lot of stress with work and training, and to also, um, and that that um, really breaks down your immune system. So I, I definitely put in, uh, I mix bioacid and spirulina together. I take it as my supplement supplement in the morning, first thing in the morning after breakfast, um, in order to support my immune system. So. And it also supports my recovery. I think on top of that, Dan, when it comes to uh, recovery from uh, hard workouts, it's just good old rest. Yeah, for sure. We gotta yeah. rest. We gotta rest. Yeah. Uh, Dan and I are neighbors, and uh, I'll come home at five o'clock in the afternoon. He'll just be waking up from his nap <laughs> before we do oh, yeah. our like, weight training. You gotta take that quick. You gotta yeah. take that quick cat nap. Yeah, well, at those, least thirty minutes yeah. uh, right after work, and get then them. to bang out that uh, afternoon workout. Uh, starting at like at six. Yeah. Actually, tonight. Uh, tonight, we're doing yeah, our, tonight. Our six thirty um, strength workout with uh, arms and chest. Neil Lindsay, uh, yeah, 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 Neil yeah. Lindsay <laughs> and Mike DeCarly. So, do you have to? There's another question. Do you have to be a triathlete to take no. bioastin? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Um, like I mentioned uh, earlier, my sister takes it for uh, the benefits that it gives to her uh, skin. I know uh, gardeners who are always uh, working outdoors that like to. Uh, take it as part of their, or make it a part of their uh, nutrition plan. So I like to tell people that are like the couch to five cares, to people like Dan, who's training for the Ironman 70.3 uh, World Championship in Nice, France. Let's get back to that. What does training entail for an event like that, the uh, Ironman 70.3 World Championship? Um, well, for sure, the eight weeks leading into that race uh, is the final, tune up and the most rigorous amount of training um, it entails uh, like on Saturdays you ride a three hour bike ride mm -hmm. out here you go to like Hapuna and back which right. is like 60 miles and you do a, a brick workout right after a run off the bike um, in the in the hot heat and the in the Kona under the Kona Sun and um, it just takes a toll on you and then on Sundays is a, like a long run uh, 90 minutes. What do you uh, What do you like to do when uh, you're not training, like on your rest days? Uh, Besides hang out with Holly, the, uh, Ollie the cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, of course, I do love to uh, hang out with my cat, uh, Ollie. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> he's turning He's turning a year uh, next month. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday! Um, but uh, sweet boy, uh, I like to just try to kick up my feet as much as I can right. and. Um, uh, again, focus on my recovery, such as sleep, uh, taking my bioacid and taking my spirulina. Right. 
Thorn what is spirulina? Something. So we've got some questions, you, you know, the, some people have just joined us. What is it? And they, they've only heard of it as, you know, something you put in your acai bowl sometimes. Oh, right. so like, what is spirulina? Uh, sp spirulina is a uh, micro blue-green algae that has been around for, with thousands of years, be safe to say, Jerry? Uh, well, two billion years. Two billion years <laughs> on the planet. So you were safe to say and, thousands. And it's been in the human food chain for thousands of years. And it's been on in the human food chain for uh, thousands of years. And I'm happy to say that we, uh, our spirulina, uh, under Nutrex Hawaii is the number one brand um, in the United States, and it's uh, I, I love being a part of the Nutrex Hawaii Ohana because we're here in the business to make people well, and it's a it's a our, our you'll you'll see it in a future episode of Amazon Live, our farm and how clean it is, and uh, how uh, how you'll see how we make this pure wine spirulina the the best quality spirulina that. Uh, you should be taking, but uh, thanks for your question. And uh, there's a few forms, like can you talk about, there's there's both powder and tablets, so some correct. people have some benefits, and is one, do you get, is it better to use one or the other, like more nutrient absorption if you, Jerry, you want to take use one? powder or oh, tablets? Yeah, yeah, we um, still have actually, Jerry here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, pow powdered spirulina uh, that you can put into smoothies, that's absorbed very fast, um, but there can be a little bit of degradation in the stomach to the uh, uh, the carotenoids that are present in spirulina, taking a tablet, it actually doesn't really, the tablet does not dissolve in your stomach, but rather dissolves in your intestinal tract as the, the tablet moves through the body. And there it absorbs, uh, it's slower, but it absorbs a lot more of the carotenoids. You have higher carotenoid potency from the tablets. Perfect. Never Thanks did that. Around here. Thanks. <laughs> Again, this is uh, Nutrex Hawaii. We're at Amazon. We are on Amazon Live. We'd like to thank everybody for watching. Take advantage of our uh, special that we have on our Pure Hawaiian Spirulina 16 ounce uh, bottle powder. It's about 150 servings. You save $7 and get it today for $32.24. Uh, we've, uh, yeah. we've got another question we okay. might need to ask Jerry for. Okay. So it's regards to bioastin. Um, why do you guys add vitamin E. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it might be like a back. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. First of all, I point out the vitamin E we add is a natural form of vitamin E. It's not synthetic. But we add vitamin E to bioacetin as a form of protectant. To uh, acetan is a very potent antioxidant, and it can be oxidized easily if there's any oxygen around. The vitamin E helps. Uh, uh, serves as an antioxidant to help protect the bioastin or the natural Hawaiian astaxanthin. Right, what does it mean to oxidize? What's it, when you well, say that? When, when it oxidizes, it essentially degrades. It breaks down the oxygen, can break down the astaxanthin into a compound that's really no longer has any major health effect. Got it. Okay. Uh, you, you have another question, Melissa? Last question. Can okay. you mix up spirulina in a shaker bottle? Yes. Uh, one of my favorite combinations uh, is a teaspoon of our pure Hawaiian spirulina and unsweetened dark chocolate almond milk. Mm. It's good. I like Ooh. it like that in a shaker or with uh, another one of my favorites is uh, pineapple juice. Yeah, pineapple apple juice is also apple very juice good. Apple juice is good. Yes. Okay. Juice is good. We, got an, we got another one. Um, how have you made sure to protect the spirulina production after the volcano eruption last year? Wondering how that oh, affected you. Well, first of all, I should point out that we're located about uh, 65 miles as a crow flies from the volca volcanic eruption. We did not have any ash blow over to Kona, or the Kaoli right. Point. We did have what's called VOG, volcanic pollution. That's essentially sulfur dioxide. Turns out spirulina, even hematococcus, evolve in a, a volcanic right. environment. They actually eat the sulfur dioxide, yeah. where it can be bad to some plants. Uh, the algae actually just eats it up as a source of nutrients. Right. So right. It, it really didn't affect us at all in terms of quality. What it did do, it, it limited the light when we had these hazy days. The light level was lower, and so the growth of our algae wasn't as, as fast. Right. So that was the only effect we saw. Right. No effect right. on quality whatsoever. Yeah, that's a good question. There, I know there are some people out there that thought uh, our farm shut down because the volcano was erupting. They thought the volcano was right on top of us, <laughs> but it's actually on the uh, other side yeah. of the island. Yeah, th yeah, this is a very big island. It's actually over twice as big as all the other Hawaiian islands put together. Right. 
It's uh, it's a 90 mile drive to the other side of the island. Right. Hashtag lucky we live Hawaii. New Trek's Hawaii, it's Amazon uh, Live. Thank you guys for all the questions. Now if you have questions, if, if, when we end our broadcast and you have questions, mm -hmm. info at newtrex-hawaii.com is your email through to us. That's info at newtrex-hawaii.com. And again, thanks everybody for watching and thanks for uh, all the comments. Uh, that was for our first for our first broadcast, I thought that was pretty yeah. cool, right? That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. It, it, uh, worked, it looked very nice. I went up and looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I saw that question about vitamin E, and I thought maybe I should come down and just. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, good call. I wouldn't have known how to answer that. <laughs> right. I should have said like, some cool stuff, some like, big words. <laughs> <laughs> some big words. Uh, Dan, I want to thank you too yeah, for Dan, uh, yeah, yeah, so much. Yeah, that was really good. Well. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Thank you, yeah. uh, happy training. Oh wait, hold on. There's another question oh, here. Okay, wait, don't go away yet. All right. <laughs> Wondering what the difference is between your old Hawaiian spirulina and the one, or, or, or the one that used to be called spirulina pacifica. We used to have oh, that on the bottom. Oh, label change. Yeah, actually, um, uh, there is no difference. It's actually the same product. We've been culturing Hawaiian spirulina or spirulina pacifica since 1984 in continuous production. And you really, exactly. during that time, our spirulina has evolved into a little bit larger strain and a more nutrient-rich strain. Right. So it's absolutely the same spirulina. We've never stopped producing spirulina. Right. But something we did add to our pure Hawaiian spirulina label is the QR code. Be sure to check out the QR code. Scan it with your uh, smartphone to get all the nutrition, nutritional ben benefits from our spirulina. Another right. question, Melissa. An another question along those spirulina lines. I'll highlight that. Um, is Hawaiian spirulina organic? Uh, Hawaiian spirulina is not certified organic. We were at one time, we were the first uh, spirulina to ever be certified organic. Then there were some rule changes made by, really arbitrarily, by the, uh, the Department of Agriculture uh, uh, nat, uh, uh, NOSB, uh, which did not allow us to use what's called mined natural Chilean nitrate. Correct. They made that change, disallowing it in uh, organic certification because it's very water soluble, it can leach into the uh, water table. Mm -hmm. Well, all of our culture ponds are lined, there's no leaching taking place whatsoever. Right. Uh, we argued, we actually worked with another spirulina producer here in the U.S. to try and have them realize this, and, but we were unsuccessful. They, right. wanted to, they would not make a rule change for aquaculture, like spirulina culture right. is, and so rather than try and find, we, we did a lot of research to try and find something that would be acceptable to the Department of Agriculture Organic Standards Board. Uh, we found some things that would work, but we also found that using that type of a nutrient actually decreased the quality of our spirulina. Which we don't want. It, we do not want that. It led to higher bacterial levels, higher heavy metal levels. So we chose to go back to our standard way of producing spirulina, which produces a very high quality product and it's actually the way spirulina grows in nature. It right. grows in highly alkaline bodies of lake with high nitrate concentrations and phosphate concentrations. And the, the spirulina, the micro blue green algae, it consumes the nitrate, turning it into protein. That's correct. Turning yeah. it into protein. Is it, it, back to the why aren't we certified organic? Is we also choose not to use manure. Oh, ab absolutely. Yeah, to, yeah. to use manure in our ponds, and uh, I think that's a benefit to the consumer. Yeah, that or, or compo composted uh, plant matter that right. really can lead to a lot of heavy metals and uh, bacterial load. I, I think if you look at a Hawaiian spirulina, you taste it and you smell it and compare it to any organic spirulina out there, you'll see the difference. We have a much cleaner taste, much better smell, and most always we're higher in nutrient concentrations. Well, there's a reason why we're the uh, number one brand. Yeah. Nutrex Hawaii, makers of bioastin, Hawaiian astaxanthin, and our pure Hawaiian spirulina uh, growing right here in Hawaii in the beautiful Kona coast of the uh, big island. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, let's wrap this very first episode of uh, Amazon Live. It was our pleasure and again thanks everybody Thank for the you. comments. Thanks for uh, watching and we'll try and do this once a month Melissa. Yeah, we'll go at least. Yeah, we'll go and show everybody a tour of the uh, the ponds, and you can see the labs like uh, mm -hmm. Jerry Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Jerry, thanks okay, again. Thanks again. Uh, we're going to get back to Good work job, here in Kona, Hawaii. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Aloha, mahalo, and ahui ho. Aloha. Ending. <laughs>